I don't know. First pitch strikes is something you excel in leverage or if you today you had a point in thirteen and what allowed you to have that pitch today? Uh, being balanced, having good fastball command. If, if I feel like I have that good fastball command, um, all my breaking ball kind of work out of that same arm slot. Uh, so if I can be consistent with that, then I, I feel like I can work in most of my pitches pretty well. Obviously, can't be understated the length of the starting pitch. Provide a little bit of rest. Uh, it makes you feel good. Uh, you know, the bullpens pick me up. Uh, just about every one of my starts so far this year, so it was nice to give him a day off. Not only did you have a strong innings today, you also had a pair of runs as well. Contributing yeah. to your own cause, yeah. you thought about knocking a pair as well. Yeah, uh, you know, choke and poke, tough with two. Uh, you know, I saw him walk along there, and uh, you know, with with guys on base in that situation, I knew that if I could just kind of shorten up and you know, slap something, poke something yeah. in the infield, uh, you know, might get lucky, and I did. So nice. A lot of the offense you contributed last year was with the power. Is this, you know, satisfying for the situational hitting? Yeah, uh, you know, got to, you know, check your ego at the door sometimes. You know, it's fun to fun to let it fly, but, you know, when, when you're trying to put runs on the board and, you know, have a serious at-bat, sometimes you got to do things that aren't, aren't as much fun. Uh, but, you know, there's a whole lot of fun once it kind of works out. So. Does it serve as any extra motivation when you see that the hitter ahead of you was intentionally walked? Yeah, you know, it's a... Uh, I don't know if you know disrespectful is the word, but it's it's the other team saying, "Hey, you stink. We'll take our chances with you hitting," uh, which is pretty standard for for most pitchers. But uh, you know, as a pitching staff here, you know you got to get out the silver slugger, a couple lockers down. So we take our hitting pretty serious. So it's it's satisfying to see all the work kind of pay off. Were you able to open up your game plan based on kind of having all your pitches going today, or was it just able to just execute what you had intended? Uh, just execute what I. What I set out to do, uh, you know, watch the game last night, watch watch other hitters react to a lot of the pitches the other day, and you know, we do our scouting meetings and everything like that. And having having real good command just kind of helps that. Uh, it leads to not having to go off book as much. Uh, you know, when I when I've got command of all my pitches, it's easier to just hit those spots and and you know, stick to the plan kind of. Did you not feel like you had command of all your pitches in your previous starts? Uh, I felt real good down in Mexico. Uh, I felt like I had real good command there. Even that inning uh, where things kind of got away from me, uh, you know, most of the pitches were were better and, and where I intended them to be. Uh, but the first couple games, you know, my command wasn't great. It was probably, you know, probably good, but not to the standard that I, I hold myself to. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's you know it's my my slowest pitch, so if I can land that for strikes, that's huge in keeping guys off balance because they can't they can't just sit on something oh, yeah. and if I'm stealing strikes with the curveball, you know, in in any count, uh, you know, keeps them from from sitting on something. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if I can, if I can get the curveball in, it helps me work up and down. Uh, you know, and the slider and the sinker kind of help me work in and out. Uh, so having that that versatility helps. Thank you guys. Hey Mark, you're hey, That's it. All right. Thank you.